Jeffy, what happened to your eye? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You have a black eye, Jeffy. Did someone hit you, Jeffy? I can't remember. What do you mean you can't remember? I would remember if someone hit me in the eye or not. Well, I just don't know who did it. Marvin, we should call the cops. Someone assaulted Jeffy. You can't spell assault without ass. Jeffy, did someone hit you or not? I don't know. Well, we're going to call the cops. And they're going to find out who did it because they'll take like DNA off your eye and, and, and check everyone's fist. Marvin, what if Jeffy's afraid to tell us because the person that hit him is threatening to hurt him more if he does? Jeffy, is someone threatening you? I don't know. If you say I don't know one more time, I'm going to hit you. Well, now someone's threatening me. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to call the cops. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Yes, officer, someone assaulted my son. <laughs> well, you can't spell assault without ass. Bingo. This guy knows what I'm talking about. Look, we just want to press charges on whoever did it. Okay, well, who did it? Uh, we don't know. What, what do you mean you don't know? You can't press charges on somebody if you don't know who they are. Jeffy can't remember who did it, but can't you, like, scan his eye for, like, their fist print? What, fist print? What are you talking about? You can scan fingerprints, right? Yeah. So, like, can't you scan, like, the fist print and, like, go in the fist print database and find out whose fist it was? Fist print database? That doesn't exist. But there's a fingerprint database, and fists are just curled up fingers, so, like, can't you, like, get, like, a fist out of the fingerprints? What? No. 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 Okay, that's not, that's not gonna happen. Then who, how can we find out who did it? Well, the only way we're gonna find out is if he tells us, or if the person who punched him punches somebody else and they tell us who it was like if it was like a serial puncher well can't you put out like an alert that like there's someone going around punching people i'm not gonna put out an alert for a like fist vigilante but but he's punching people and he's on the loose right now we don't even know what the guy looks like so then what are we supposed to do uh, okay I'll, I'll tell you what you figure out who it is and i'll arrest him okay all i know is i didn't do it well, I didn't ask if you did it. Oh, I know, but you're going to start asking questions about who did it, and I just want to eliminate myself as a suspect, because I did punch a kid in the face today, but it wasn't him. Well, why'd you punch a kid in the face? Oh, he had it coming, believe me, I'll tell you. So earlier today, I was patrolling in the park, right, and it was a beautiful day. So I was just walking around, minding my own business, and then, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, this kid runs up, and he shoves me, and he yells, Tag, you're it! And I'm like, what, what the hell? What is this, some kind of game? So I start chasing him around, and I'm putting on the burners, right, because this kid is fast. And he's running around, he's giggling, he yells, you're never going to catch me. And I'm like, oh, when I catch you, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to beat your ass. So then we're running around all over the park, and then he trips, and he falls in a sandbox. And I'm like, oh, I got you now, you little bastard. And then he kicks sand in my face. And I'm like, pff, 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 pff. oh, you're not going to kick sand at me. So I punch him in the face, and I'm like, tag, you're it. And then he starts crying, and then his mom runs over, and she's like, you just punched my son in the face. And I'm like, yeah, I did. What are you going to do about it? So I throw her on the ground and I start arresting her. And then all these people run up with their phones out and they start taking videos of me. And I'm like, that's not good. So I start throwing haymakers. I start punching everybody there who has a phone. And then I take all their phones so there's no evidence of what I did. And I run away. So yeah, that's why I punched that kid today. Well, I guess if that's the only kid you punched in the Wait face. Wait a minute. I did punch another kid today. What, what you did? Why? Uh, don't worry. It wasn't your son, but you got to hear this. Well, this one's even worse. So I run back to my house with all the phones I stole from the people at the park, right? And I throw them down on the counter and I'm like, honey, sell these phones on eBay because we're going to need the money for all the lawsuits we're about to get. So she asked me where the phones came from and I said I confiscated them from some criminals. She goes, okay, well, I made you some pizza rolls for dinner. So I start jumping up and down because I love me some pizza rolls. So I grab a handful of them and she's like, careful, honey, those are hot. And I'm like, shut up, bitch. So I start shoving those pizza rolls in my mouth, right? And then my mouth is on fire. Those pizza rolls are boiling hot. They're burning the crap out of my mouth. I I mean, they burn the roof of my mouth so bad, I got a little piece of skin that's hanging down and I keep playing with it with my tongue. It sucks. And then my, my wife, my wife has the audacity to say, I told you they were hot. So I throw the plate at her. I'm like, I know, I know what I did wrong. You don't have to tell me. I should have listened. I know, shut up. So then I'm in a bad mood, right? And then I hear the doorbell ring and I'm like, uh-oh, this must be the angry mob from the park. They want their phones back. But it's not. It's just some Girl Scouts selling Girl Scout cookies. So then I open the door and they say, do you want some Girl Scout cookies? And I'm like, hell yeah, I want some Girl Scout cookies. Shut up. Why am I even here? Take my money. So I give them a 20, right? And then you're not going to believe this. The Girl Scout says, okay, your cookies are going to be here in two to three weeks. What? I'm like, what, what, what the hell? What, what kind of Ponzi scheme is this? Are you even really a Girl Scout? So I punch her in the face and I take my money back. I, two to three weeks for cookies? What is this, the new iPhone of Girl Scout cookies? I'm not going to pre-order cookies. That's ridiculous. I, I could order cookies on Amazon Prime and get them faster. So I go to the store and I buy myself some Chips Ahoy and I'm happy. So I sit down on the couch and I'm like, two to three weeks for cookies, my ass, I say as I shove a cookie into my mouth in anger. And then I hurt myself because I remember I already burned my mouth on the pizza rolls. So now my mouth hurts and I hate that stupid little piece of skin that's hanging down off the roof of my mouth. Just, nah. 
Ugh, God, I hate it. Anyway, that was the second kid I punched. So you only punched two kids? Yep, just two kids. I mean, a whole bunch of adults at the park who had phones, but just two kids, and none of them were your son. So, how are we gonna find out who punched Jeffy? I don't know, just ask around, but be quick, because I might get fired by the end of the day. <sighs> Marvin, what are we gonna do? Okay, so we have to go ask everyone we know if they saw who punched Jeffy or if they punched Jeffy. So let's split up so we can ask more people. Okay, Marvin. Who you wanna ask? You don't ask anyone. You sit here and you try to remember who punched you, okay? Okay. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Cody. Does it hurt? Of course it hurts, Junior. It's a black eye. Dude, stop being a whiny little baby. Hey, boys, Jeffy has a black eye. Do you know what happened? No. I have two black eyes. But what about you? You have a black eye. How did you get that? Oh, you don't even want to know how I got this. Oh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the story. So us three, we were playing baseball, right? I was the batter, Joseph was the pitcher, and Cody was in the outfield. So Joseph threw a fastball. It was gorgeous. Thank you. And I crushed that hoe. I hit that baseball into outer space. Oh, yeah. We would see the stars. It was flying. Yeah, so Cody was running after the ball going, I got it. I got it. It, but he wasn't paying attention. He didn't see the cliff that was coming up. So he runs off the cliff and he starts falling. He grabs onto the edge of the cliff and he's like, guys, help me. And I'm like, Cody, I'm on my way. I'm trying to save your life. And Cody's like, I'm slipping. I'm slipping. Hurry. And I'm like, Cody, I'm almost there. So as soon as I get there, Cody lets go and I reach out to grab him. And the only thing I can grab onto is his eyeball. So I grab his eyeball and I pull him up and I save his life. But he has a black eye because I grabbed his eye. No, Junior, that's not what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That didn't happen like that at all, dude. You hit the baseball and then Cody went running towards the base. Baseball, but then there was an airplane trying to make an emergency landing because the president wanted to watch the baseball game. But the landing gear hit Cody in the eye. What, that would have killed me, and why would the president want to watch us play baseball? Well, Joseph, you forgot. You totally forgot what happened. No, I hit the baseball. The baseball hit the president's airplane. The plane started going down. The president jumped out and parachuted and gave us a thumbs up. Oh, then, the, then the baseball flew into the city. Godzilla appeared. <gasps> Godzilla! I totally forgot about Godzilla! Yeah, so Godzilla starts destroying the city, starts knocking over buildings, and a piece of the building fell off and hit Cody in the eye. But that didn't happen either. Dude, you forgot about the meteor that was coming for Earth. There was a meteor coming for Earth and then NASA had to shoot it down with a missile and it broke into a million pieces and one piece flew into Cody's eye. Oh yeah. Oh. No, no, no. I'll tell you what happened, okay? We were playing dodgeball and you guys didn't have a dodgeball so you decided to start throwing baseballs at my face. That's why I have a black eye. Oh, yeah. that, that we were doing that. Good times. Okay, but do you know how Jeffy got his black eye? No. Uh! <laughs> hey, Chef PB, I got a question. Oh, Marvin, it was horrible. How'd you get a black eye, Chef PB? Oh, the worst thing happened. I was trying to make a triple chocolate cake, the hugest cake. And out of nowhere, a fly came flying in my kitchen. And I couldn't let it touch the chocolate cake. It's too beautiful. So I picked up a rolling pin and tried to swat it like crazy. Swat it. Get out of here, fly. Go. And then it, the, the fly, the fly took the rolling pin from me and started beating me up in my face like crazy. And then it called his fly homeboys and, and they pulled up in the box Chevy and said, wrong neighborhood, nigga. It started beating me up like crazy, even worse. Oh, no. What, what, what happened to the cake? They took the cake, Marvin. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, Jeffy has a black eye, so I was wondering if you know how Jeffy has a black eye. <laughs> it must have been those flies. They're ruthless, dude. I'm telling you, Marvin. <gasps> oh, there's the, the someone at the door. Hold on, Chevy. I hope it's not the flies. Hello? Hey, Marvin. I'm here for your house payment. Well, I, I, I don't have my house payment, but how'd you get that black eye? Well, let me come inside and I'll tell you all about it. Okay. So the craziest thing happened, Marvin. I was on my $300 million private jet, and you know it costs $300 million because I fly a banner off the back of it letting you know how much I paid for it. Well, on the jet, I have a map of the world, and I throw a dart at it, and wherever the dart lands, that's where the jet takes me next. So I was throwing a dart, and Chives walked right in front of it, and it hit him in the eye. I'm like, damn it, Chives, you got in my way. And then all of a sudden, a baseball crashes through the window of the airplane, and Chives gets sucked out. So I stick my head out the window and I said, Chives, get your old ass back in here or you're getting a spanking. Well, obviously he doesn't listen. So I grab my parachute and I parachute after him. And I land in some random park and I see Chives hanging out of a bush. So I walk up to him and I start giving him a spanking. I said, don't you ever run away from me again, old man. And then I pull out my phone to see where we're at. And a police officer comes up and punches me in the eye. And then he steals my phone. So now I'm surrounded by all these poor people. And and this is the most embarrassing thing ever. Well, my son has a black eye, and I was just wondering, like, how did he get the black eye? Well, it's probably the police officer that punched me in the eye and stole my phone. Hmm. Any luck, Marvin? No, I talked to Goodman, and he said it was the police officer. But the cops said he didn't hit Jeffy. I know, but Chef Pee, Pee said it was the flies. Flies? Well, who did you talk to? I talked to the boys, and they said it could be a meteor. <sighs> Jeffy, does any of this, like, make you remember? 
No. Oh, we're never gonna find out who hit Jeffy in the eye. Hey, any of you guys wanna buy some stolen phones? Ooh, I like the pink one. Baby, you're not gonna buy a stolen phone. I got a question for you. Uh, are you gonna ask if they have a warranty? Cause no, they're stolen. And I don't know the passcodes either. You're gonna have to figure that out on your own. Well, no, listen, we, we asked so many people if they, if they hit Jeffy or what happened to Jeffy and no one knows. So maybe you hit him and you don't remember? Hey, look, man, I told you I didn't hit him. Well, c can you like look at him and see if you remember? Like maybe it jogged your memory? Hold on, let me take a look. Hmm. Mm, oh no. Oh, that's bad. What, what, what? Oh, you're not gonna yell at me, are you? Oh, no, no, well, what happened? Okay, I think I remember what happened. So I was walking to the store to buy cookies, right? And then I hear this roar sound, and I look over, and I see Godzilla destroying the city. And I'm like, well, that's not really my problem. And then I see Jeffy playing in the street with a baseball. And then I look up, and I see a plane falling out of the sky, and it's about to land right on top of Jeffy. So I run over, and I push Jeffy out of the way of the plane, and I save his life. And then Jeffy thanks me, and then all of a sudden, a little piece of meteor falls out of the sky and hits Jeffy right on the helmet. And I'm like, wow, it's a really good thing you're wearing that helmet. That could have been bad. And then Will Smith from Men in Black walks up, and he wants to wipe our memory so we don't remember Godzilla. So I just run away. But then he slaps Jeffy right in the face, giving him a black eye, and then wipes his memory. Yeah, I don't really know why I don't remember that. That was pretty nuts. You'd think I would have remembered that. I guess I thought it was a bad dream or something. So, Jeffy, do you remember any of that happening? No. He's not going to remember because Will Smith from Men in Black wiped his memory. Didn't you see the movie? He's got the little neuralizer thing, and it goes, pew, and it wipes your memory. You don't remember anything. Got it? Buy a stolen phone.